This is Mindanao. Ever wonder what's in there? This part of the country is still huge, and we only got time to talk about three regions. Starting with... Oh, oh wow. Th that kind of looks like a... Zamboanga Peninsula. There isn't much fine arts worth nothing here. Are their famous decorative arts? The pandanus mat, which made for sleeping, it has vibrant color and traditional patterns are usually weighed by women. Talk about girl power. Here is the lepa lepa, a decorative art used on the sails for small boats, commonly made by bajaus. These boats boast the traditional sama bajau colors of red, blue, green, yellow, and white. Next one is Northern Mindanao, and this is what we call soil art. An amazing display of the Talaandig artist, which is used the earth instance of expensive synthetic oil to fill their canvas with metaphoric paintings depicting the spirit world. This one is called Pinakas. It's a vine weaving art that produces these beautiful jars with a distinctive curve. The artisan jars were used for storage but now, it is purely decorative and it is in danger of fading into obscurity. But Hilaha devoted their organization to preserving and increasing awareness about the art. Check their website at kilaha.org for more details. At Davao, you will find a traditional shirt for males. It is usually dark but contrasted with the vibrant colors of the decorative weaves that wraps around the sleeve. And found there also is the Lusong and Halo which is basically a huge mortar and pestle. A huge mortar and pestle? Now that's art. 